Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Behind me is the new Škoda Kodiak RS. We saw it on Paris. Today we're gonna take an in-depth review. Uh, better look in Paris. It was really rush. A lot of people. And here we're in Škoda in Croatia in Zagreb. This is the Kodiak RS. Sorry for the shaking. Um, beautiful sport design. Comes with the powerful TDI engine. Here is the key. Um, let me try focusing on it. This is the basic one. This is the main one with the chrome. It's a wireless, obviously. So, car is unlocked, and if I press the unlock button, we have blinkers. Um, gonna come to the front. Let's just turn on the LED lights for you. I'm gonna turn that switch on. And here is the look, front look of this beautiful sport design. Classical Kodiak lights, fog lights integrated. This new bumper, a little bit of piano black plastic to make it more sportish looking. This um, diffuser on the bottom. Unfortunately, there is no air uh, going sideways here. It's um, kind of fake, but... Uh, Grill is nice in black with a VRS badge, especially for the Kodiak in red, uh, no green color like on the Octavia version. You have the radar here and there is a 360 uh, parking camera fish eye lens hidden here. Um, and inside is the diesel engine with 239 horsepower. And this is the uh, 4x4 all-wheel drive. Uh, there's a lot of here packages um, like ACC, adaptive cruise control up to 160 kilometers per hour, um, uh, optional LED lights, lane assist, um, all those good things that you want. It's a fully packed car. This is a Croatian price. Um, we do have a 25 uh, tax here in Croatia plus some other vehicle taxes but this car is beautiful this is some sort of blue yeah race blue metallic color with the optional black trim I really like this there's it's not a rubber it's piano finish as well on the top like that there's a huge and a roof before we get in the this beautiful delicious interior let's check the back look Kodiak LED lights, aggressive. Unfortunately, as you can see, there is a real exhaust and the other ones, fake. So, not sure why is that the case. You can see from this angle. Uh, also on the back, VRS badging. And let's start from the back. LED license plates, back and camera. You can press here, you can press on the key or you can press from the driver's position. And this red here is RS sign in case you see the car on the road and you're not sure if it just has a sport line. Nice, easy doorstep here for loading stuff. This comes down, so it's also protecting your door mechanism. And I like this, you can pull this up. So we have double floor, pull it up like this. This here is it's kind of in the way there's some stupid music behind me I hope I'm not gonna get copyright strike this is the battery so it is covered here uh, so you can put some storage area you have some storage extra storage area on both sides and over here as well a little bit as you can see there now this is massive I actually forgot to uh, check the space I'm gonna write it down how many liters you have here hooks if you push it up like this you can actually move it really nice you can knock down the seats actually yeah um, you can tilt the seats as well I'm gonna knock down this one so it's convenient using these you have 12 volt charger here now they're knocked down you get a little light here that removes so someone doesn't steal it there's actually people doing that I know and you can pull this cover and if you press it here, she says press, you tap it, it goes back. Really convenient. Uh, the seat can knock completely down and then this little thing goes down as well. Press here too close, electronic of course.
closes nicely, locks itself. Now, while I'm here, there's nice protection here. I like that. Now, I wanted to show you the seat. So the seat can knock down. You have to push it down all the way. Then it clicks into, into position and it's locked. Now, there's a area here and you can pull this so the seat, seat will unlock goes up you just push it all the way now as you can see you can tilt the seat like that was tilted all the way so you have to pull this if i pull it i can adjust it now there is also this you can pull this now it takes more than uh, one hand to push the seat forward and you can have extra space on the back while i'm here there is a cup holder and in the integrated in the armrest and might as well just cover this area there is actual outlet here european and 12 volt and a usb charger we have free zone climate control one for the rear two on the front now i actually got on the back seat already so let me just take out that key so I don't squash it. I'm gonna close this door. I must say, inside doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels premium. This is leather. This Alcantara with stitches is so nice. So there's some hard plastic here, but this I mean feels cheap behind. There's no uh, really good soundproof, at least not in the door. Uh, but it does feel to the touch really, really nicely. Uh, carbon fiber, at least imitation. You have this big shade, so you can pull this down. It's a manual, and you have a lot of light. Especially this panel roof is amazing. So, this is me. I'm two meters tall, 6.6. Uh, .6, a lot of space here, as you can see. Uh, I can pull this armrest, I mean headrest, excuse me. And I can relax here comfortably enough. Even if I straighten my back, my head is touching uh, the ceiling, but it is nice. And look at the space for my knees, more than enough space. Look at this, this is like three or four fingers. So pretty comfortable in here. And I believe third person would be okay here. There is enough room if you squeeze your knees, you have an AC vent there. Also shade here and I'm going to actually exit this side. There's also VRS badging. These seats are really comfortable. If I sit here, it's really nice. You have a little um, space there. Uh, these are the sports seats. As you can see them from the back, how they look. The headrest is integrated. There's no little net here like on the regular one. But there is this uh, gap here for... Uh, so, you, I don't know, maybe your neck is not sweating. It's... <laughs> I'm assuming, I'm not sure if this is really actual the reason for that. And we have here carbon fiber imitation. Um, not a fan of this, doesn't look that um, premium and anything, just looks like a cheap imitation. Um, you have the LED lights on the bottom, of course, uh, the illumination. And you have the uh, LED lights here, you can see them, they're actually in red. You have a Kodiak sign i'm not sure if it's uh, illuminated actually it's not but it's a thing uh, of course i like this let me close the doors are now better so they don't uh, drop water inside and you have this protection this is actually made from ford see it's gone and it pops out see so but on the bottom you have this some sort of sportish skirt it's also made by plastic if you go off-road although I wouldn't recommend going off-road now let's check the driver's position same materials you have Canton speakers these are the uh, Skoda's upgraded speakers really nice leather carpeting inside all of this is just cheap plastic I wish Skoda can fill this uh, cover this with leather or something you have a button to open the trunk from the back this is where you pop the hood, I'm gonna do that later. Uh, both seats are electronic with memory. And here you can lock both rear windows. Of course, windows are foldable and heatable. 
these are the front seats really comfortable looking nice alcantara with leather i love that going to the top vrs badge so let's sit of course not to forget the amplifiers here and have your standard light switch here i'm gonna put it on automatic always leave it just on automatic if you want fog lights just pull if you're new to the skoda first level is front fog lights all the way second level is rear fog lights now nice closing sound considering that the window is down now let me see the contact now so i need to turn on the ignition i'm gonna turn it on just to close this window so you can hear the no uh, good soundproof that's what i wanted to show you good soundproof there's no much too much talking and similar just gonna lower the window so i have some air and test of moment of truth the back window goes all the way down which is a good feature if you ask me now this is the sports steering wheel the vrs badge of course red for the kodiak you can i think order either red or white stitches at least that's what's the case in octavia this is the new digital cockpit from skoda um, let's just stick to the steering wheel for the moment you have sport paddles here um, and plus minus you have cruise control over there if i can focus on that uh, this is a manual adjusted the dash is classical kodiak with this carbon fiber imitation over here as well the dash goes nicely you have a, a large speaker here part of the canton uh, upgraded speakers you press here and you have this storage area and you press down here i like how it comes down slowly and you have here room for your sd card for maps uh second sd card for your music and sim card of course you have dvd player which is nice you don't have that in octavia only in suburban Kodiak, not in Karak, if I'm not mistaken. Um, nice inside is carpeting. Unfortunately, no LED light for some reason. Let me move my here. tripod, but do you do have AC, so that's all nice. Now, I've switched this to English. Um, I'm gonna cover this menu in a moment. What I wanna focus on is just the rest of this beautiful interior. Um, I like this gray red and black combination of materials really looks nice even this piano plastic doesn't look so horrible this is classical skoda or just volkswagen group ac you have here air vent below ac automatic if you want auto or you if you want um there should be a dual zone here um it's kind of different on the kodiak and then on octavia but i'm going to um, lower this air vents of course you have here auto off you have parking sensors lock the car hazards i like the fact that you have hazards uh or blinkers in your mirrors passenger airbag you can turn off for kids and you have rear heating um actually no excuse me this is the front below as you can see rear heating and this is the thrust uh for the front windshield which is an option um you can hear reset signs so i guess yeah you can as mentioned dual zone this one's on heat gonna wow gonna lower that on uh cooling here let's say and if i press science i guess see if i press science yeah that's what happens okay so heated seats if i press this you have here i like this fact you have on a on a top there's also a heated steering wheel that's nice look at this not sure if you can control it by touchscreen. I guess not. You can operate it via this button, which is weird. I think there should be a separated button, but I don't see one. Um, let's come down to this area. We have a little LED storage area down there. Really, really nice. If I can put the camera lower. Uh, of course, as you can see here, you have a wireless amplifier for signal possibly wireless charging i'm not 100 percent sure don't hold me for my word on that information a little area here you have two usb chargers over here i wish there was a usb c in this case like an audi but there isn't um five volt charger or um cigarette lighter 
just pull this there's this is just cover so plastic that wasn't removed it's not scratched uh, automatic I believe should be seven speed automatic or six but I believe it's supposed to be seven if I'm not mistaken don't don't uh, attack me because I missed um, actually in your cars there's eight speed automatics I need to check this information on the uh, spec mode for driving how to hold electronic parking brake uh, off-road and and ESP off off front of yeah ESP off uh, this looks so nice this is you press it just feels you know powerful when you hold it I don't know and you have this holders here not to forget um, you have a little net here for the drivers side really nice and you have this armrest that can move it has levels so you have this area here if it covers your bottle um, it doesn't lean on it and you have this to pull it up um, a lot of cubby space here you get this uh, massive thing and you have this huge area that kind of goes down on the end you have this side or either this side and this is interesting you can put actually your um, let's say key like here if it's a wireless key have something here i don't know what for coins changes maybe some cards and you have this little uh, holes if you have a like a coca-cola bottle of water or something you put it here and you twist the uh the cap it's you you're going to be able to open it because this holds the bottle not to spin which is interesting and of course for, forgot to mention you have the levels extends so you can really you know rest your arm when driving and it's not a problem that's what I really love about Shkoda cars. Okay, so let's, um, before we get, get to the infotainment, let's get to the digital cockpit. This is probably what all of you want to see. Of course, here are the blinker control lights and, and the wipers in case you're new to Shkoda. I'm going to try focusing here. Actually, just to cover the buttons for the steering wheel. This is the inside menu. So you have here uh, voice commands, volume, you can press to mute um, and you have this like station locks you can check the view here by pressing get in the inside menu and this is some sort of uh, pre um, I don't know what's the Skoda word for the uh, safeties for uh, pedestrian braking and similar stuff okay focus on this now we have a fuel um, kind of range here and the temperature on the side not a fan of this little uh, things but you know uh, I guess this is some sort of design thing that Shkoda went for I'm gonna press here view so we have I think four different options with informations on the side just like digital and you have this with probably is just reserved for the RS badge You're probably going to be able to unlock this in maybe OBD 11 on newer cars the same generation um, and let's see if I press this button here driving data assist you have your navigation here which is nice uh, radio phone vehicle assist so this are these are these are the assist you can turn on by button and if I press Okay, on navigation if I press a view uh, sometimes on the camera the screen flippers flickers see now when I'm close it's focused so it's not um, okay going into the menu again no it comes back to this I don't know if this is a thing that you could just only have this or this because I think there should be like yeah so you have here in the sport version a temperature uh, how many kilowatts are you using of power I guess of torque maybe um, and you have this little signs on the bottom you have like uh, your cruise I mean uh, distance from other cars interesting information uh, if I press this oh it turns on the menu so I guess it comes to the standard menu with uh, things lane assist ACCP speed limiter um, I guess you can limit the speed to the uh, signs and or just no this is very probably just cruise control yeah 
silly me. Uh, blind spot monitoring, that's something new in Škoda, which is really nice. Rear traffic alert. Uh, front assist, not sure why that wasn't on. Front assist allows brakes for pedestrian cyclists or in the city if there's a car in front of you. Uh, this is nice, I'm trying to see here. No, this is still volume. This is still, I guess, just this part for radio. Um, no one covered this so deeply, so I'm trying to cover it for you guys. Uh, navigation, I wish there was something that you can zoom out or zoom in in navigation, it just doesn't work that way if you use this scroll button. And let me just, yeah, so these are the screens, I guess you cannot customize the size, and this is the classical one. So this is the classical speedometer and odometer. And through the menu, it says here, I'm gonna show you, you can change those uh, middle bubbles information. You just to go, oh, okay, this menu, you can zoom out and you can zoom in, which is nice. So by using this button and <laughs> trying to focus the camera a bit because the screen's flickering. Oh, view. Okay, it still moves through the button. So I'm not sure what was going on there. So you can have full screen here. If I move now, let's just press radio. See how it looks. Wait. This is going to be a long review. So, but I know you guys, if you're buying cars, you, you're you interested in that. You want that. Okay, this goes into the menu for the radio stations. So, interesting. Kind of wondering if I close here. I'm, I'm wondering about the maps. Uh, I'm gonna come back to navigation. I'm not going to go to the assists. You'll have to buy a car and explore that on a test drive. I just want to show you this because, yeah, this view, no. Um, yeah, view, no maps. So I guess this is the only view this this wait for it nope this one nope and no okay so that covers the infotainment guys i hope you like this now let's stick to this and hopefully i'll find uh one to show you the bubbles so here on this car there's a little hand which means there's a sensor here and now it's not working it used to work a while ago uh you can swipe with your hand as a gesture to uh, change things you have here air condition uh, you can set everything so you can set c3 zones for the rear or front consigns uh, and all that stuff uh, press the menu this is really responsive the touch screen quality is like an ipad i must say this is a top screen and volkswagen group that you have that's been used in volkswagen skoda so really really high quality if you're new to the skoda cars uh, screen you can change languages here these are the languages, hope I'm not too fast. Uh, this is on English because it's an English review. There is Croatian for those of you who are watching. Come back to the menu, see if the hand gesture is going to work. Yeah, see, it works. So you have radio here, you have preset, preset stations. You can go here to settings and uh, have traffic announcements or similar stuff. Let's hear the, um, the sound. So, I would say pretty good speakers, of course, um, actually no, you can use this touch screen options, but I'm gonna mute this because I don't want to get a copyright strike, again press to mute. So uh, if you want to press here, you can have this manual thing if you like that, go through the whole frequency. And you have media here, so you can connect. Um, I do for SD card, Bluetooth, you have your, you can have your uh, Wi-Fi as mentioned in the glove compartment, you can put in uh, like a SIM card. You have navigation here, so the map is not inside, I'm not sure how is this on now. And it is interesting, uh, looks dark, you can have here compass, a radio position, or in my car you can have speed limit, so I wish... I, can see that um, setup here um, so you can see here Croatia's maximum speed 
Uh, when it's Croatia, there is a 10% tolerance of the speed and 10% uh, on the speedometer not being uh, completely accurate. Uh, route option, advanced settings, just to see here. There's a demo mode. Actually, no, I'm not going to use that. There's no time for this. This is already a long review. This is an in-depth review, 25 minutes. Uh, what I wanted to say, this looks like a dark map. There's daylight, uh, but I guess there's some shadow on the sensor, which is on the front uh, around this area or uh, in the mirror. So I'll go through the menu to end this uh, infotainment. And Okay, guys, I figured it out. If you're in the, ve uh, the menu, main menu, go to the vehicle. Um, now it's there's no back button it's in the vehicle you have to go to the settings so if you're back to the settings you have to go to a uh, instrument cluster and you have your settings and you go to settings and then you have your uh, view so you can have here gears so I'm gonna try covering both screens you have here classic you have view one consumption view two and view three I guess, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the automatic, I guess you can you just customize your screens like see acceleration, audio, height, compass, range or road signs, road guidance, drive assist, travel time, in range, destination, then see here road signs, yeah. So this, this is convenient, this is really nice. You can personalize this uh, as much as you want. You go to the settings, it's in the main menu. You have here lights. This is just coming home, leaving home. And you have driver's assistance. Just going fast through here. You just pause the video if you want to read those. Uh, parking aid maneuvers. Uh, I believe there is a, for the trailer maybe, assist. And Mirrors and wipers. I think you can dip the last, uh, like the side mirror, and the automatic. And you have background lights, so you can choose a different color. It's uh, actually super bright now. So you only have the ones on the doors. You can turn them on, like really brightly. You can barely see them on this daylight. And you have the bottom ones. These are the uh, footwell illuminations. So as you can see here now, these four panels are kind of illuminated. And I think this about it. This covers uh, the uh, infotainment review really nice. I forgot to mention on the top, you have this uh, nice mirror with a basil black top. As this is an RS badge, you have uh, a little LED lights on the top, emergency calls uh, and service, uh, I don't know, information you can Control the back cover and you know you can just press to stop it like I don't know in, on the half uh, yeah that's that's an option you just press here at some point and you can just pause it or you know of course you can open the top like this and you have that air cover, uh, air like a shield, and you can really let in a lot of light. Of course, you can hear everyone talking in the salon now. So I'm gonna close that. Just press it all the way, and you have LED lights uh, on the front, and you can use one on the rears. And that's about it. And one to open or just turn off when you're on off when you're opening the doors. And let me just see. So you can stop the window like this, open it fully, or just close it all the way. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I think that's, this covers the review. Um, if I didn't mention, yeah, the ignition's off, so you have a start-stop button. And you have one, two, three, and a huge speaker on the front for uh, really nice. and. We have a little area here, of course, with carpeting. And now to show you the engine. I hope I didn't forget anything. Of course, yeah, just before we exit the car, this is some sort of my driver's position. Um, really good overview 
around me. Um, there's a lot of windows here, so no blind spot you can see on the back as well. And actually, I would like to turn on the car to show you the backup camera. If there's people here, so I'm not going to do this in this review. I'm sorry about that. You have a little avatar that turns around here. And yes, of course, I almost forgot, guys, to show you one of the things um, here. Digital instrument. Digital instrument panel. Sport. So, yeah. Uh, it's a good thing I've remembered. So, you can have here G-forces, uh, pressure, uh, oil temperature, and, and similar stuff. Uh, of course, all three can move, so you can adjust that. Um, you have here driving data. This is the consumption. The car needs to be turned on. I guess there is some long-term. Of course, it's huge because the car was barely moved. So, And you have dry green. Uh, uh, what things are on when consuming and driving data, sensor fueling. That's the same vehicle status. And like, of course, it's missing fuel, uh, washer fluid at the moment. Uh, tire pressure, you can set it here. Uh, of course, you can have multiple drivers and digital instrument panels. So this is the shortcut to that. And of course, you have off-road information here about tires, um, compass all as well. That's like an off-road feature that's really nice. And if you press the mode button here, you have this uh, screen, so normal, comp sport, individual, snow, economic, and comfort. So yeah, those are the screens. Good thing I remembered, so, because it would be crappy review if I've missed that. And, I don't know, you can watch your pictures from SD card, no one does that. Um, not what I wanted to press. And, I think I'm forgetting something. Of course, you can customize the sound here, and um, you can have touchscreen tone, but I prefer that off, I guess. Some people don't. And media navigation. Yeah, that's about it. Sorry for this. If it's too long, I think people who have the, who are actually buying this car, are going to like this. And this is the avatar kind of goes away and then I open the door and yeah that's about it guys so let's pull this this is a super long review but that's why you like details um I know there was information I wanted to check so it was a seven speed automatic I was correct and let's open this trunk so it has dampeners um, from each side, both sides, that's really good. You have your uh, antifreeze there, washer fluid. Uh, yeah, batteries on the back as shown. These are your fuse switches. Um, I don't know, this is a TDI engine, pretty standard. Um, badge, air filter, all that stuff. Uh, that's technical it's not a topic of this channel that much and yeah guys i hope you like the kodiak rs try to put it in the frame those wheels are 20 inch wheels um they are massive and you have this red calipers they're nice i wish the discs were aired maybe um so they do really look nice. These are the Pirelli tires that came with this car. Um, you know, sometimes you get different tires and of course 20 inch uh, in case you thought I was wrong. So guys, tell me uh, in the comments, what do you think about the car? Leave a like, really helps me a lot. Leave a comment, um, share this video with your friends if someone's interested in buying the Kodiak RS and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you like this video. So I'm gonna see you in the next review. Always stay safe on the road. We're going to see you in the next video. Bye.